Hey YouTube, it's the RBK Goalie coming at you with a small unboxing here. Um, what I have today is the net cam protector for a GoPro Hero model. It's the Puck Eye. Um, Canadian made and manufactured, I believe, in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, I just received it uh, today, so we'll be going ahead and opening that up. Um, as most of you have seen some of my uh, YouTube videos, uh, my YouTube channel is number 5 full. N-U-M-B-E-R 5 F-U-L um, I use a GoPro camera for recording my goaltending um, games and drop-in sessions uh, most of the time I use a suction cup mount with the GoPro attached to it and I put it behind the net up on the glass lake so it gives a beautiful view as most of you guys know um, the, puck's been, the puck hits the camera a few times but I haven't broken one yet knock on wood I have two GoPro cameras uh, one which I'm recording now and this uh, new one here is the GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition um, which I purchased uh, about a month ago um, and some of you have seen I also use it in the net view where I put the camera against uh, the back center post the majority of Once we open it up, we have the bill of sale. Yeah, so there's free shipping within uh, North America, I believe. And um, it cost $131, including uh, $6.25 GST. And uh, here it is here. It looks pretty sturdy right out of the box. Yeah, it's only some bubble wrap. So I'll set that aside. So overall impressions, yeah, I wasn't too sure when I first uh, was doing the, re the reviews there. That's pretty snug. I'll have to push it further. Yeah, so that's very snug in there right now. Um, I could probably push it a little more. But yeah, I don't think a, I don't think a puck is going to hit the even the glass or the plastic case on the the plastic lens on the GoPro. So it's in there right up there. As you can see. So there's space in there so a puck won't hit that. And on the back. So I think I'm going to have to push it in a bit more and then slide the back plate in. Well so far I have it like that. It's sticking out a little bit but I might just leave it like that. It's easier for me to pull this tab out. But uh, it looks pretty good right now. And then again, you just wrap the nylon and the Velcro straps around the post and then uh, bring it back like so. So that looks pretty sturdy in there. I'm pretty excited to use this. I'll uh, give it a shot tomorrow and then throw up a video. Um, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to comment on there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'll, I'm going to play around with it and Make sure I get the proper squeeze, proper fit in there. So I could probably push it up a little bit more. And this is pretty lightweight, this one here. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. I was able to squeeze it in a little more. But yeah, actually I'm just going to leave it like that, I think. Uh, for the time being. So there you have it, the puck eye. Quick release. This also comes in a white color um, and it comes with a clamping system with a couple of wing nuts where you uh, have to twist it on but that's going to take uh, a couple minutes and playing drop in or, or during an intermission or whatever you don't have that much time or no one's going to give you time to set it up really. So I picked this option here so I think it's going to work out fine. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll have a full review after my on-night session uh, again tomorrow. I'm going to leave it in the net while I stretch and uh, I'm sure there's going to be the players that are going to try and pick it off and nail it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so stay tuned. Have a
Thank <laughs> you.